Thanks very much, Lask and Carla. Tánaiste, this week's budget had a lot of wins for women, including a €31 million Euro healthcare package that will help tackle period poverty and invest in sexual assault treatment and maternity services. Free contraception for young women aged 17 to 25 was particularly progressive. And of course, this was an idea that was raised during the debate on the Eighth Referendum and the, the Eighth Amendment. And back in 2018, on that referendum, the people of Ireland had the opportunity to have their say on the issue of abortion loud and clear. And yet today, metres from, the Coombe, metres from the Coombe Hospital, a provocative six foot tall billboard is encouraging women to rethink abortion. This is a blatant attempt to cause upset and trauma and emotional turmoil. Back in August, Minister Stephen Donnelly confirmed his commitment to introducing legislation on safe access zones. Thonisha, where is that legislation at and will it deal with issues such as these advertisements? So, um, thanks very much, Deputy, and um, I'd like to join you in welcoming the very significant package for women's health uh, contained in the budget, which includes um, uh, real funding to uh, implement the national maternity strategy, um, one that I was privileged to uh, be part of drawing up uh, when I was Minister for Health. Um, in relation to the free contraception, I want to just state on the record that this new scheme, uh, providing free contraception to women aged 17 to 25, um, is a new scheme we're going to set up next year. Um, it's a start, we're going to get it going. Uh, we may be able to extend it to women above 25 in future years, but as is always the case with a new scheme like this, you need to phase it in and, and get it right. Um, and I just want to put that on the record. Uh, in relation to, to the legislation on safe access zones, that's still promised. It's um, in the Minister's work plan. I don't have a date yet for it coming to Cabinet, but it, it, it is intended to be done. Um, and it would be possible, or certainly we can examine the possibility of containing in that legislation some rules around uh, advertising as well. Uh, we ban advertising for tobacco and um, alcohol and so on in certain zones, and perhaps we can do the same market. on this. In my haste to go through